What's up, Sparkman family? It's your boy, Sparkman. Now, I know I haven't made a video in about a week or two, maybe two. <laughs> I've been on vacation, uh, went on a cruise. Very relaxing. You know, me, I'm working two, three jobs. I'm, I'm, it's nice to just relax and just get some time to myself. But, um, no, we got a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! updates. <laughs> a lot of crazy stuff happening in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, world um, lately. And... One thing I saw was this, and um, before I get to the main point of the video, which I showed you read the title, um, players not being able to use their game mats and sleeves because a small portion of the population can't keep it civil or clean. Um, for me, it's okay. You get to the stage, you show your game mat, you show your sleeves. If it's not appropriate, guess what? Change them. If you don't, if you can't change them in time, you're out. You know, but Konami should be able to do that within a 10 second span without limiting us from um, having our own sleeves and mats, especially you're hurting small businesses. I feel like so bad for those small businesses that actually create sleeves and play mats that now are getting punished for this. Now, I mean, it's, it's not right. Konami has to have a little bit more sense. And listen, you have judges, you have people there that are watching this, right? You can... You can tell the person, hey, if you can't change this within the next 10 minutes, you're going to be disqualified from the match. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. If they can't keep it clean, that's on them. But don't affect the rest of us. I mean, it's it, just think. Think before you do things. <laughs> Please. You're, you're actually hurting yourself in the process of doing this. You're, you're not realizing that. That's so dumb. And to say it's a children's card game... And this person's right, right here in the comment section. Uh, also, it may be out as such, but since when do children play Yu-Gi-Oh nowadays? The player base is aging up, so why not increase the age rating of the game? I actually agree with that person 100%. There's like no new players of the of, of the age of wherever the age category is that they have it at right now. It's playing the game. Mm, that's not happening. It's older people that are playing this game there's there's no kids playing this game i'm sorry to say there's just not there's no new players coming into the game and it's because of what konami has been doing and been funneling through the game um it, it it's it's become so difficult to even learn the game at this point and there are too many new tactics coming at you at once that it's hard it's hard for a kid to understand let alone an adult so i mean come on we got we got to use our heads here um now players quit in the game like i just said the game's getting kind of hard to keep up with, right? Because, I mean, there's so many new things coming at you at once. It's kind of like, okay, can we can we get, like, a little break in between? Or can we have um, not one deck take over the whole entire meta? Like, there's things that are not making the game fun anymore. And there's always been that process of, oh, one deck taking over the game. And that's been that for the past couple of years, which kind of sucks. Because, you know, for players, they want to have fun, too. They want to play their deck. Their sort of deck that they believe is fun, that that can win that could win um not that it's just one plain boring deck that have 14 of the 15 top decks being the same thing it, it's boring i i can't imagine konami seeing that and being like oh that's really cool that that same deck is keeps winning like uh, can we actually use our head for once ban certain things within the card game so that way most decks have a chance of actually topping or don't bring out broken ass cards like it's it's not that hard to actually build a success a successful card game you did it in the past players enjoyed the game in the past not to say players are not enjoying well i shouldn't say that because most players are leaving the game for like one piece and other games but you can do it it's not that tough it's like you're making it tougher on yourselves by creating the next deck that has to be better than the last one that you created. And then we have to ban those cards and then we have to make the next top deck and then we have to ban those. It's like, okay, like stop, breathe. And let's actually focus on stabilizing the game a little bit. Like that's all you have to do. And then rushing out sets, that's not gonna happen. Now at 13 years old, I quit the game because it got too expensive. It should not be the case at now I'm 26, 13 years later. That should not be the case. I should not quit the game, not saying I'm quitting, I'm, that's not happening, but that should not be the case for most players that are this age and up. They have, for the most part, stable jobs and should be able to afford a $60 box of 24 packs of 
of uh, of cards. But the problem is, it's no longer sixty dollars. Inflation has made its way into the card game of Yu-Gi-Oh, and it is not a pretty sight to see. Now, am I happy that the market's doing well for certain sealed products? Sure, I am happy, but not to this extent. Not when the pre-release of a box that, first of all, doesn't even have effing twenty-four packs. It has how many packs is in here? How many packs? Does it even say? 18 packs. 100, well, first of all, it was $120 on pre-release, and it's still holding at $106. And first of all, if we look at the very two, the 25th Variety 2 collection, uh, there's no card above this price point. Like, not even close, actually. Like, can I take a look at this real quick? High to low. The highest card in the set is $70. So you gotta pull the $70 card and make back your money for the most part. Cause you're not pulling all these $34 cards. That's, that's just not happening. You may pull one $30 card and maybe you pull this and you're like, oh, I made back my money. But that's like, it's, mmm. Ah, oh, it's so frustrating. Like, there's no reason. Now, Legacy of Destruction may be the only cheap box that has recently come out. Cause everything else is much more expensive. We got Age of Overlord. At now one hundred eighty dollars. What in the hell? What in the hell? One forty-two for the twenty-fifth anniversary Ready Collection number one. Seventy-seven dollars for Maze of Millennia. Fam Nightmare is at ninety. So the game is becoming increasingly hard to even buy into pre-release. Let alone if you wait like a week or two, then the, it spikes up even more. Um, usually we don't have a spike up in a box like in a set like this not for like months in advance now we can't even afford to buy a box to actually get the cards or even because you're not guaranteed the card that you want so even a chance again the card you want like that's sad because at release it should be 60 bucks flat that's it it shouldn't be more than that for the next month or so it should be 60 bucks flat no more Players have to buy in to the game to play. How do you expect players to buy into the game if it's like, okay, this box is $90. Can I afford buying another box? Then I'll spend $180. Wait a second. I haven't even taken into account taxes yet. Like, can we actually be for real here? Like, how are players affording this? How can you expect children to get into this? How can you expect players to stay into the game when stuff like this is happening? I'm all for the market doing well, but I'm all for making, for it making sense as well. It, like this doesn't make sense to me it doesn't um yeah I, I don't know i don't know and then with the over reprinting of things as well that, that that's frustrating players the the fact that they're reprinting older boxes is very frustrating for collectors the fact that they're i don't know making similar rarities within a um i don't know they had the new collector rare card but looking at the look, looking the same as the other collector rare card now we have the, you know, Starlight Rare and the Core Century. Like, they look so similar. Like, it's it's frustrating. It's very frustrating for players because they can't collect because things drop in value because they're reprinting the same thing again in a similar rarity or in, in, the, in a similar... Uh, they're reprinting the same thing. So it, it, it's, it's almost impossible to keep any value in your cards or make it feel special. That's the other part to it. Um, so... And the game is getting dry with just the one deck. Right now, it's just Snake Eyes, Snake Eyes, Snake Eyes, Snake Eyes. Like, it, it, it's, it's boring. Like, it, it is. I'm sorry. And, you listen, people, players will say, oh, it's because you're not winning and all that other stuff. Well, okay, even if I was winning, would I want to win with the same deck over and over? It's like playing in the same format for years at a time and you're winning with the same deck. Yeah, it's going to get kind of boring. It's going to get kind of boring. Like, come on, come on. The game needs to be fixed entirely in many aspects um, because that's just a few. There is way more I can rattle off. Um, so we'll see what, what, what happens. I think the frustration is building and I think people are, are ready to move on. Because, I mean, I've had a lot of friends that go to tournaments that they're like, oh no, I'm not playing Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm playing One Piece. Oh, interesting. What are you playing today? Oh, I'm playing Magic, which I wouldn't expect 
that friend to say that, but he is. Um, so we, ha we have a lot of people in the community and in my group that are not playing the game anymore. They're not collecting anymore. They're not even associated with the game anymore. It's, it's sad. It's sad. Because there are many deterrents. Many deterrents from the game right now. So we'll see what happens in the future with Yu-Gi-Oh! If Konami and the game fixes it itself. Or we will continue the same pattern and continue to lose players moving forward. Because at this rate, you're not bringing in younger players and you're losing your older base. So what are you going to do? That's the question. What are you going to do? So we'll see. The, hopefully the game isn't dying because that's, that's always the thing people say. Oh, the game's dying. Well, the game's not dying just yet, but it's getting to that point where it's needs to be fixed now or it's just never going to be fixed that's that's where we're at right now so um i hope you guys enjoyed today's video please let me know what you think in the comment section down below i would love to hear what you have to say um because i think there's a lot of different opinions out there and um for the most part i will say the the opinion that is holding right now is this one that i'm saying so if you have a different opinion let me know i want to hear it um but yeah from your truly spark man i hope you enjoyed today's video please subscribe like comment and Peace out, YouTube. I give my all, hey, just to save you, I give all of me.